All right, I have here my tumbler. Right now it's got the red walnut media in it. Um, I started to use that because I got the cases cleaner quicker, which I do appreciate. However, um, now these ones are stuck. I got some 9mm cases stuck in 45, but uh, the red walnut would sometimes stick in the side of the case or just above the spent primer. And when I would use my dies to, to deprime it, I noticed that uh, it was wearing on uh, the pieces. I'd have little pieces of walnut sh shrapnel broken up in it, and I had found that that can actually hurt the dies because the walnut's so much harder. So I'm going back to finishing with a uh, corn cob media. Here I have a six pound box of it. Came with a, another thing of Cabela's polish. I'm not going to abandon the walnut uh, totally, but what I'll do is when they come from the range filthy, especially when it's range brass, they'll sit in the walnut media and I'll shake them for a couple hours. Then after I, I pan them out, I also hate this red dust that's just, ugh, it's forever there with the walnut media. And uh, anyway, I'll, I'll take up my brass and then I'll move it to the, just the corn media and let that run for an hour or so just to get all the uh, the walnut off, the walnut red dust and the little pieces um, of walnut that are hidden away in it. And at uh, this stage I'll just leave it dry, but when I get to the corn cob media, that's when I'm going to bring in the polish. Uh, I'm not, not unsatisfied with the walnut, it just makes it kind of a mess. And eventually uh, my batches of corn cob media will become red, I'm sure, and uh, mix. And I've got kind of a mix from my old corn media that I have here in this container where it's kind of a mix of the two together. Uh, really doesn't help me in my, my desire to not hurt my dyes with the walnut, but um, it's just in between. So this has got some polished chemical residue in there, I'm sure. Uh, mainly it's walnut with a little bit of corn media. Um, I'm just going to put this on the back shelf for for a later day when, I've, when I'm cleaning something off that I'm not necessarily really loading. I have a lot of shells that I clean out, for example, shells, I mean uh, brass. This is 32 Auto, 32 Smith & Wesson clean brass. Um, I don't even reload these, but for if I do, I've, I've got some stored up here. Um, I'd use that. Or I'll use this system to clean my own 9mm and 45 because I actually do reload that. Anyway, for whatever it is worth, this is Pheasant815 signing out.